Okay, so I also plan on running for office. All of the office. Actually, I have a question. No, I actually, I have a good question. Uh, Cornwood, another question for you. Anything else? Anybody? Yo, Big C. Big Chief. Oh, anything? Nope. Okay. Hey, Chief, Chief of Police, the... everyone, he's spoken. Doesn't have shit. Academy's coming the next four days, so. Yeah, Mega Academy. Wait, hold on. <clears throat> I know this has gone long, but I, I want to speak as well. Okay, so I also plan on running for office, all of the office. So uh, <laughs> if y'all have any questions for me, I will accept them right now. Are you ready for Sheriff? Why? Uh, why? Yes, one available. What is, it, what is the difference between wait, Sheriff? Or, wait, you saying Sheriff? And, and, and anything else. That I feel like. Because <laughs> we're, we're, look, we need to get shit done. Okay. I'm about, to, I'm, it's time for me to take things into my own damn hands. Okay. All right. I have a question for you. I don't know. Go we'll, right, we'll right behind you, man. As healthcare liaison, how will you be the voice of the people for the hospital and EMS? Easy. Okay. Being, uh, being a police officer and also being a, uh, former combat medic in the Cold War, I have a lot of experience out in the field doing medical work. Wait, there was no go on. And uh, well, I was wait. stationed in Berlin. Please do not be but, offensive, <laughs> McNulty. <laughs> I, how could you be a combat medic when there was no... So anyway, I was out there. I was out there on the front lines. Okay. And I I see, I see how uh, how it is with the EMS out there in the Cold War, and I've seen how the EMS are in, in Los Santos. And let me tell you, Los Santos is a hell of a lot worse, okay? Our EMS are out there, and, you know, our healthcare system with our doctors, we got some of the best damn doctors in the world. we got some of the best damn EMS in the world. And sometimes things got to be done to be able to support these folks because their job is hard as shit. And, they, I mean, hell, it happened whenever I was here years ago, and it's happening again now. Thankfully, is- not as often. But sometimes people just want to go in, and they, they want to go in, they want to get out you know they ain't happy they ain't feeling good okay and then you get to the point where people start treating people like locals and that's a big ass problem to me okay so we got to do some things to be able to provide our ems and our doctors with the tools that they need to be able to do their jobs to the fullest being somebody who probably spends the most time in the hospital out of everybody else in the pd I'm i think i know that. up there in the running and barrack actually is also up there in the running for that yeah. as is aziz that, i think that, he's icu'd more than anybody by like that's, 10 times that's unfair Cormer. you're there to get your stomach pumped and like new hearts that's <laughs> not fair <laughs> and also i have parvo so i have a daily appointment. Uh, but either way uh yes that's what uh, that's how i feel about uh health care liaison any other question about any office how can there be a health liaison when there's no ems well there will be under my tutelage but you're, but, you're what you're, his toot so i think he said his toot uh-huh. his toot, his toot. You. um thank you so you're saying you know, like with the hospital up there as well if you're if you're opening up the uh apartment you're well, no duncan was implying i was running for health care liaison how would i run for office for health care liaison oh oh roy i'm oh, sorry wires got crossed there uh-huh. any other position that y'all want me to ask questions for or answer doggy how about okay. that so if the dog <laughs> if the doggy is liberal with a glock then yes i will shoot him okay no more questions that's true what's, uh, what's, the, what's the uh, rank structure gonna look like in the sheriff's department uh it's going to be uh i'm still i'm still writing it up to kind of i guess finalize it but some form of a you'll have your sheriff you'll have your under sheriff and it's going to be very similar it's going to be kind of adjacent to the current lspd rank structure uh there might be an extra rank in there but uh you've got your your deputies that are going to be parallel to officer. I want to have the Rangers as part of the sheriff's office as well. It's going to be a hybrid sheriff's and uh, park rangers office, essentially. Uh, it's going to spin off of a wildlife cert, and maybe some someday, you know, down the road, if that splits off into its own department, then so be it. But I think that the best utilization of the sheriff's office as is is um, – Having a wildlife cert and then kind of having the rangers be uh, just part of the uh, the rank structure of the sheriff's office. I mean, I, I'll be honest. I don't like the rank senior deputy. I don't know why. It just sounds it sounds boring and and dumb to me. So we might have deputies and rangers. You know, I'm, I'm still figuring it out, finalizing it in my my vision for what the rank structure would be. But overall, pretty similar. Question, Cornwood. Uh-huh. How will you approach the sheriff title if the rank is? neutered to the point where you're the equivalent of another officer uh i feel like that would be a pretty a, dramatic well i mean i feel like that would be a pretty big waste I mean, what period. about an equivalent of maybe something more realistic like uh sergeant or lieutenant oh uh, waste what about the equivalent of the captain waste <laughs> wait what's the chief. question waste <laughs> chair uh chief of police that could work <laughs> so it only so your sheriff position would only work if you're the same rank as barrett 
I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense, right? I mean, re- realistically, right? Now, in a perfect world, you'd have a commissioner. We don't have a commissioner, but we, we, what we do have is we have a mayor who acts as the oversight amongst our all of our departments. So really, he is our acting commissioner. It just it works in a different capacity as what we have now. But truthfully, it don't really make sense to have the, the sheriff position of a department not be equivalent to, like, the chief of police or... You know, if we had a game warden in the ranger's office, if we had any other department where it's the uh, top of the rank structure for it to be equivalent, as it is in most cities. Actually, in a lot of cities, sheriff is higher, but I don't, I don't think that should be the case. What are you going to do about all the sand in Sandy Shores? Well, make sure there ain't no damn marijuana in it. Hey, <laughs> Well, you can't grow marijuana in sand. Oh, they found a way. I don't know how, but they found a way. <laughs> they found a way to do a lot of things. Yeah, sure did. <laughs> Sure did. Uh, anything else? Ooh. Actually, I have a question. No, actually, I have a good question. Uh, Cornwood, another question for you. Okay. Um. Uh. Who wants to be a volunteer for my example? Who, who can take a beating here? I, mean, I can just Flop. imagine a man. Why the no, fuck take, did you call I'll me take, out I'll, immediately? I'll take it. Not for Does your Mac sound bad? Maple. Of, Maple's of, going into some trouble in the LSPD. Uh, he's not. He's not looking too good. Chief Barrick and Chief, uh, Assistant Chief Ruby are sort of. They're not. They're not really seeing his his worth. Right. They're kind of seeing him as like just an officer and whatnot. I have some criticisms. Some <laughs> unnamed criticisms that I'm not going to make up. You can use your imagination. And you 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 don't see it that way. You think Maple is one of the best, and maybe he should have a, a rank of, of a ranger or lieutenant or sergeant within the BCSO. Okay. Uh, how are you how are you going to have this conversation with Barrick? How are you going to make your differences on this? How are you going to how are you going to convince him otherwise that maybe Maple has some better off over in the Blaine County? I mean, just go tell him, simple as. Okay. He's like, hey, you know, Barrick, I, I know you, you know you don't see what Maple's been doing out there, but I think he's been doing pretty damn good. And uh, look, it's all up to you. At the end of the day, he's going to undermine Barrick and promote him. No, I literally just said it's all up to you talking to Barrick. <laughs> oh, so it's all up to him. So you're just going to let him just. Well, no. Well, here's keep, the thing. At, at the end Maple of the day, down. at the end of the day, it's all up to you on what you want to do with Maple here in the LSPD. But if you don't see a position for him that I can see him doing up in the sheriff's office really damn well, then if you're willing, I'd like to have him transfer. If, if both of y'all want to, if he wants to transfer and you're willing to let him transfer, then I'd love to have him because I think he he could do a hell of a job up there doing a specific role that I have for him. I'm as simple as that. You know, just have a conversation. Well, Derek says, you know, I can't really stop him if he wants to. If he wants to transfer, I can't really stop him. But he also doesn't like the fact that Maple's going to get this rank just from transferring. Um, how are you going to mend that wedge between the BCSO and the LSPD that is being created right there? Well, I mean, it's simple. Okay, Barrick, you know. I'll ask him right now, Barrick. Why do you not like Maple? <clears throat> I mean, just make something up, right? This motherfucker ain't a, been paying attention. This is a great question. <laughs> your fucking hair, man. <laughs> What the? Well, my hair? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's all it is. Okay, so you don't like his hair. Okay, well, here's the thing, Barrick. You don't have to see Maple's stupid haircut every damn day if he's if he's working hey. out of the office more often. But, uh, it's imaginary, Maple. It's imaginary. <laughs> <laughs> you know, don't worry. So you won't have to see, you know, Maple's stupid ass haircut every day. You know, and I think he could do really damn good for us up there because I think that, you know, he could lead, um, you know, he could lead an investigative unit or some shit. Right. Okay. Let's now, the truth too Cornwood, much. Okay, Cornwood. Cornwood. <laughs> Hell, I'm, I'm just giving an example, right? People are complaining. Johnson's over there standing there, and uh, Johnson and Aiden are like, what the hell? This guy is just transferred to get a promotion, and now he outranks us, and he's telling us what to do? What the yeah. hell? Cornwood, Barrick, why, why can't you guys work together on this? Wait, well, Bar- Barrick and I did work together on it. Look how it looks. Okay. In perception. Okay, who's complaining? Raise your hands. I could give a rebuttal to that. Well, well I'm, I'm, okay, I'm okay, going to go, tell go, you all how ahead, I handle this shit, okay? Who's complaining in this hypothetical? Johnson and Aiden. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm complaining. Okay, Larry Johnson, Aiden Spolsky, y'all two need to shut the hell up, okay? Just just point blank, okay? I understand y'all are frustrated, but there's a reason why I see Maple in a sp- specific position, why I got a specific role for him. If you got a problem, okay, and if there's something specific with specific reasons, you can come tell me about it, okay? But truthfully... You don't see everything that I see, all right? Just like I don't see everything that everybody else sees. But bottom line is this. If this is a vision that I have for something, if this is a vision that we have as a command, as leadership, then we're going to go forth with it. And Barrick says, you know, like, he didn't really... He didn't really want this to happen, but it was out of his hands at that point. Well, then that's a, that's a Barrick and Hornwood issue. Yeah, so how do you solve that? And also, Flop, what's your rebuttal? Oh, the rebuttal, and it's zero disrespect to, any, to, to Barrick in particular, but the vote brought him to the position he's in from senior. I, I, I feel like I feel like a lot of the PD was sort of inundated with the idea that, uh, you know, with changes of department and changes of structure, uh, people are going to be in different positions. Yeah, I mean, and it, I think, it, yeah, that really has, uh, I mean, that's a good point, right? Like, I mean, you don't, just because there's a change of department don't really mean anybody's changing, getting promoted or demoted off the rip, right? 
some people inherently might, but uh, I mean, it's just like everybody else who's gotten promoted, right? Good night, McNulty. Good night, McNulty. Yeah, I know it's getting late to shit. Good night, McNulty. What are you going to do about the people who are going to obviously transfer for rank chasing? Because it's a brand new department with no sergeants, no lieutenants, you know, free real estate. I can, I can sniff out rank chasers like my own shits, okay? I don't, Name I don't, every rank chaser in this room. I'm not going to do that. Actually, you know what? I'll tell you right now, I don't think a single person in this room is a rank chaser. In fact, I'll go as far as saying, I think we barely have any rank chasers across the whole PD. There's a handful of them, but some of which actually I ain't even seen come around very often no more. Probably because they didn't get their damn rank. Yeah, I was about to say that. Yeah. yeah. Oof. Call them out. I think there's no need for that. No, I think you should. Come on. I don't think we need to press this any further. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to not do that because they ain't here to defend themselves, A, and B, it don't help nobody, you know? But I do know that there what are some. What a your response. I mean, that's the thing. At the end of the day, if it don't help I nobody, why well, say it? Hack. Like, you got to, you got to, when there's shit stirring, you got to cut the shit out. I think you're losing everybody, Corn, where they're walking out. Including I think me. the fact that this meeting has gone on for over no, an I hour. No, think, I think it's just been long as shit. <laughs> I'll say this I much. I support you, Corn, but... I support you too, far away. Yeah, I think it's just the meeting's um, long as shit. Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah, let's call it there. Uh, I mean, this meeting's long as shit. Let's get out there and kick some ass, okay? After this, of course. Oh, yeah, of course. <clears throat> I, I pledge allegiance. allegiance.